Okay, today I'm going to check on my bees a little bit because I haven't checked on them for a while. And um, I want to make sure that they're still doing all right. I don't always know what I'm looking for when I'm checking on my bees, but I, can, I think I can get a pretty good idea by opening up the hive and just looking in there and seeing if they're working, keeping themselves busy and stuff. So I'm trying to get the smoker started here. I'm not sure if my wood chips are totally dry though, so I might have to resort to putting some of that cotton stuff or whatever it is in here, but it smells terrible when I burn it, so I'm trying not to. But the idea is that you just get combustible material in the smoker <clears throat> and start it on fire and it will just smoke um, while you're going and working on the bees and that calms them down if you just give them a little puff or two of smoke. This is going though. So I'm just giving them a little bit, a little tiny puff of smoke here. You don't want to give them too much because that can piss them off too. And then I'm pretty sure they have gotten everything totally stuck down. So, And this little top one, which is good to see, because they weren't doing much up here last time I looked. Um, you can see they're really bringing the, what's that called, propulsus, I think, right up there to glue everything together in the frames. They've got them all glued together really good. I'm going to see if I can get this layer off and look down at the next one. We shall see. brother-in-law Bob tells me make sure you never set your smoker straight on the grass. So you can start a grass when you're doing that. They get really, really heavy when they start filling everything up. Oh, wow, look at that. That's looking really good. Can you get in close? Look at the honeycomb they're making. Okay. So you can, uh, set my smoker down. You can really see the honeycomb in there. They're filling up those frames really good, which is excellent because they had those synthetic frames for the most part. Well, yeah, all of these are the synthetic ones. Boy, they're doing a great job. They are just busy, busy. I'm glad to see this because I've been Kind of worried about them the last week or so because I just haven't seen them buzzing and swarming about the hive as much but I guess I can see that they're keeping themselves busy. So this is the middle box of the hive and then there's another one lower which is where the queen should be. Um, I guess I could try to take that one off too except I'll have to get my cameraman over here to hold the camera again cameraman likes to keep a little distance there. <laughs> cameraman and Zeus. Zeus the dog has been stung a couple times so he has a very healthy. So I'm just going to puff just a little bit. Not too much because they're pretty mellow today. It's just kind of a rainy day. Hopefully they'll stay mellow for me. Someday I have to stop showing someone show me the magic answer. I'm trying to make a part because I'm not sure if I do it. I guess if you get them apart, you must be doing it okay. 
Okay. Motorcycles. Oops. You can hear the motorcycles in the background. It's really weak at Sturgis. And we live about five miles out, so we don't get too terribly overwhelmed with it, but it's kind of a constant rumble. This is going to be heavy if I can get it lifted off of here. going to put back because this is so dang heavy. I'm going to need help to get it moved very far. So I'm going to put it back and let them keep doing their work. All right, guys. Give them a little puff again. All right. Always good. All right. I think I squished a bee. Sorry, buddy. You do that. I'm going to go ahead and Put everything back. There's been plenty of moisture for them, and we finally got lots of. Uh, let's see. Lots of things blooming out and about here in the pastures, so I don't think they could have a much better year. We have some really warm, sunny days where they can get out, and then we have a little rain. A week and a half ago, we had a really big wind came through all of a sudden, kind of a little freakish wind out of the south, and it blew this top lid off. Well, actually, not this one because I had to get a new one. Um, kingdom come somewhere, broke it into a bunch of pieces, but the bees had glued everything together so well that it didn't even didn't budge or anything else, and the inner lid was glued down so they were all safe. So that's today. Didn't really get a great peek at the inside there, but everything was looking good, and I think I think they're all happy and healthy. So they're making honey. That's what they should be doing. 